Hey, good morning, guys. All right, so it just finished raining. I mean, it poured. It poured. So we're going to do this property right here. Let me get my headphones in. You know, I like to have my music. But we're not going to turn the music on right now. Um, so and my eye protection as well good all right and let me get my gloves And my batteries. All right. So I keep my equipment covered at all times. And locked, guys. Now I get a lot of questions in regards to uh, my battery powered equipment. If you can use it in the rain. And the answer is yes. I always use mine in the rain. Have been for the past two plus years and had zero issues. Let me put this here for now. I know I'm all over, right? Because I'm trying to get things done before it actually start raining. Now for video purposes, not really video purposes. Uh, this one thing I want you guys to remember when anytime you get to a property and it's wet, the first thing you want to do is mow. Okay. Um, yeah, I understand sometimes I um, will trim first and then mow. But um, always, always when it comes to wet properties, you always mow first. I'm not gonna put on my, I'm not gonna put out my cone because again, this is a cola sac. There's nothing behind me. But yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna get yours on Monday. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, you that, uh, play, uh, put that, um, beer box flag on me, I'll give you $20. <laughs> okay, I'll take care of it for you, all right? Okay. Have a great one. Yeah, okay. Okay.
All right guys, so because of time, I didn't film the back, but win it. But uh, for you guys to buy these racks, I mean these uh, ramps, make sure that you put some grit tape. It works real good, man. Even though these shoes are non-slippery, look, still, it helps a lot. Gives you that sense of uh, security. And also, you know, look in the uh, video description. I have a link in my Amazon store for the uh, grip tape for you guys that are interested. So now we are going to no just for video purposes just for video purposes we are going to um, edge first and then we're going to trim okay so this is a BLI 200 battery And we are going to edge. So this is how quiet it is guys. I'm talking to you guys and I'm edging at the same time. Now some people will say does it make a difference if you Edge first or edge later. Uh, I personally don't see a difference. The only time it makes a difference when it comes to leaving mud marks on your sidewalk and your driveway is if you edge first uh, when it's wet because then your, your tires will get into that dog on mud and leave it uh, leave an implant there you go nice edge crispy crispy Okay, then I take the same BLI battery and transfer it to my trimmer. Now this is the same BLI 325 IOK. It just has the different attachments. All right. Come back and get me again, guys. See how quiet you live. I'm thinning, I'm still talking to you guys. And you may be saying to yourself. And this is loud, so believe me. The uh, microphone from the GoPro is amplifying the sound. This thing is not loud at all. And you move things out the way. And you put things back. Now 
Now let me show you something. That is the only time I will trim behind the AC system. You see how it's connected here? There's nothing hanging. That's the only time I'll take this, put it under there, no issues. But if it's hanging, I will not touch it. Make sure you learn that, guys. Now, this is going to sound crazy to you, but do not trim in there because if you do it once, then it is expected all the time. And then you have rocks and all of that good stuff. Now you tell the customer that you come back and clean it up if they'll pay for it, right? Listen, I'm a good guy and business is business. But if you start giving free stuff away, then the next thing you know, you won't be making any money. And you are in there to make money. All right, guys, this is after uh, all the trimming. And again, like everything else, guys, and I do apologize, <laughs> the GoPro died. Yeah, only had like 33% um, juice. So, oh well. So, um, what I'm gonna do now is just blow it, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back to you real quick, okay? And again, to blow it, I'll use the still the li 600 and guys these are the uh, dry wraps equipment dry wraps that net make sure you use code blades 10 uh, for your discount but they keep your, your equipment nice and dry and uh, you know even if you don't you don't care if it get wet the Sun will hit it and kind of fade it out so I don't know I just like myself to look good all right, let me start to blow and then uh, I'll come back. All right, this is the uh, final look. Not bad, right? As you can tell, no clumps. Well, I've got to get that paper right there. And uh, yeah, two inches. Guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, man. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, share my videos. Why not, right? Have a blessed one. See you in the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.